Welcome to the MBMT Show, brought to you by the South South Entrepreneurship Development Center in collaboration with Heat 95.9 FM Calabar. It is me again, your host, Victoria Ipo, and today we'll be looking at the topic financing micro, small, and medium enterprises, otherwise known as the MSMEs. And somebody will be saying, yes, my fantastic business idea has been killed because of lack of finance. It is no doubt that micro, small, and medium enterprises occupy an important position in the economic development of any country, especially in Nigeria. MSMEs hold immense potential for generating employment opportunities development of indigenous technology, diversification of economic base and forward integration with established industries amongst others. However, MSMEs are having a hard time taking off in Nigeria. And one of the bands to the success of most MSMEs in Nigeria is inaccessibility of business funding. You would agree with me that access to finance is very crucial to the success of SMEs in Nigeria. We have in the studio with us this morning, Mr. John Owen. Yes, I know that rings a bell. He is the Managing Director, Unical Microfinance Bank here in Calabar Cross River State. He is also Chairman, National Association of Microfinance Banks Cross River State. Mr. John Owen is here to do justice to this topic, financing MSMEs, and to answer all our burning questions. So grab your phone lines and call in with your questions or contributions on 0700 955 9436 080 or tweet at us with your questions at EatFM Calabar using the hashtag MBMT Show. You're welcome to the show, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning, My listeners. <laughs> All right. Microfinancing of the agricultural sector was initiated by the Nigerian government through the CBN to improve SMEs in agriculture. So, what is the role or what role does microfinance bank play in supporting micro, small and medium enterprises in Nigeria? Uh, thank you very much. Um, microfinance banks were specially set up by the federal government for the purpose of looking into the interests of the micro, small, and medium enterprises. Because this uh, type of uh, clientele find it difficult to assess funding from money deposit bank or commercial bank as it were. So microfinance banks were specially set up to make it easier for micro, small, and medium enterprises to have access to finance, particularly agricultural enterprises. We will note all the risks that is uh, associated with agricultural enterprises. And so the federal government, through the collaboration of, of central bank, have set up funds to support agriculture in particular at very favorable uh, conditions, interest rate, no collateral, and insurance in case of failure of agricultural enterprises. So microfinance banks are specialized to take care of these uh, enterprises. So. Be you an agricultural enterprise or any enterprise for that matter, microfinance banks are there for small, small businesses. All right. So, sir, are there funding structures for different sectors of business, say trading and the others? Yes. And what are they? Yes. Uh, because of the various risks associated with some of these enterprises, the CBN has also provided soft funding for agriculture, for instance. Even if you're into commerce that is trading, there are funds that you can also assess for your trading business, agricultural business, even small cottage industries. There are special funds geared towards assisting these enterprises. For instance, I can tell you that most of these funds are single digit interest rates. That is, they fall between 1 and 9% interest rate for wow. these kind of enterprises. But you know you cannot get this kind of interest in any of the commercial banks. So, special purpose cost for these businesses. Okay, sir. So it is very common for startups, especially, to assess funds. So, please, sir, are there funds available for startup businesses? Yes, there are. You, if you walk into any microfinance bank, whether you are a startup or you have an ongoing enterprises, you can assess funds. 
In addition, the central bank has also created funds for startup because it's not everybody that will have an existing business, particularly the young school leavers, the young ones who come out of school. They are looking for white collar job, government jobs that are not there. So the microfinance banks are encouraged to give startup facilities for people to engage themselves and to also employ other people. And so startup funds are there. Banks give up startup funds. So it's not only until you have a particular enterprise that you want to expand, that you can come to a bank or a microfinance bank to get money. So even if you're a startup, you are just starting a business, you have the idea, you have documented, you have put it on paper, pen and paper, and the bank look at it, they can advise you and you can have funds that you can start your business. So, sir, please, are these with collateral or without collateral? Or is there a part where um, equity is needed? Yes, every, every business has its own peculiarity. There are ways at stake. You know that look, if this business go bad, mm. I'll lose my own 10% or 10,000 naira. You try to be very serious with so that. So, there's some form of responsibility. That's it. Okay. All right, people, our phone lines are open again. You can please call us on 0700-959444836 and 080-924444955 or tweet at us at HeatFMCalabar. We'll be expecting your calls. So, sir, back to the question. Um, I was just wondering, are there loans without collateral? Yeah, in microfinance banks. There are several loans that there is no tangible when i say collateral that various types of collateral you have what you call third party collateral that is guarantee i want to take a hundred thousand uh, i call mr b or mr mrs b please come and sign paper for me oh. this paper you are signing is to say that look if i don't pay this hundred thousand the bank will come up for you to pay that is a collateral it's, it's non-tangible collateral you also have the tangible collateral like give me something to hold like a surgical fancy, a property, car, or whatever to hold. In case you default, I can dispose of that collateral and recover my money. All mm -hmm. right, we have a caller, our first caller for the day. Hello. Hello, good morning. Please, can you be a bit audible, please? Yes, we can hear you. What is your name and where are you calling from, please? Aldo, okay. Where are you calling from? Okay. Can you go ahead with your question? Please, can you call us back? We can hardly hear you. We really like to hear from you, so please call us back. Okay, once again, the phone lines are 0870. 07009594436 and 08092444955. Hello. Hi. Hi, good morning. Who is speaking and where are you calling from? My name is Patience. Oh, okay. Good morning, patient. Can you go ahead with your question? Okay, patient. I'm sorry we lost you. Hello? 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 Hello, good morning. Who is speaking, please, and where are you calling from? Okay, good morning, Emeka. Please go ahead with your question. For you. Yes, you can access up to 500,000 from any microfinance bank of your choice. You can. Hello? Hello, good morning. What is your name and where are you calling from? Okay. Okay. Let me take a question. Hello? Okay. Okay, we'll go on a short break and give you guys some time to call in, okay? We'll be right back. No matter your